Okay, so before I start this video, I wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like prior to coloring in natural daylight. All right, so as you saw from that last clip, I'm gonna try to talk quieter today because my bathroom rugs are in the dryer right now, so it's actually really like echoey in here if I talk too loud and I tend to yell at you guys in the camera. As you can tell, this is a hair dyeing video, but I wanted to show you guys, obviously, like this is what this looks like, or my hair looks like in this bathroom light. It's very uh, brassy and yellow. There are parts of my hair that are brassy, but for the most part, a lot of it's like the brighter blonde. This does still have, obviously you saw it in the daylight downstairs, this does still have the Colorista purple in it. It's kind of gone to a lighter, washed out, lived in pink, which I actually really like that uh, hue that is in the hair. But, what was I saying? Oh, okay, so the purpose of this video is because I am going to be testing out the overtone the overtone colors. A lot of you guys suggested these in the comments of my video that I posted of the Colorista hair stuff, which by the way, I just want to mention that I am not a professional hairstylist, nor have I ever tried to say that I was. So for anybody who was upset by like the fact that my hair wasn't blonde enough or this or that, or I don't know, in that last video, um, I'm just a regular consumer and I was just trying out a product that I could buy it at the drugstore and I just made a video about it. That's it. Don't take these videos too seriously and to be fair with the Colorista stuff, the model in the picture had the identical same hair color as mine. So as a consumer, I would just assume that it would work the same. Um, I'm not a hairstylist so I didn't know that like certain colors cancel out certain colors and this and that and whatever. I would just like to say that before we get further into this overtone video because I have a feeling a lot of people will have stuff to say about the way that I do this as well. In that video a lot of you guys were like you should try overtone. So another one you guys suggested was Manic Panic but I have used Manic Panic since probably before a lot of you guys were adults because I'm probably a little bit older than some of you and I only say that because uh, I my analytics say that my age range is like from 13 to 35 and I'm 30 so there's probably some of you that I'm older than. I've been using Manic Panic since I was in junior high when I had pink highlights. That's the color of choice me and my brother used to dye our hair. So I'm very familiar with Manic Panic but I wanted to try something a little bit more low maintenance. So you guys suggested Overtone and I looked at it, I looked at their website and I got really excited because it's exactly something that like I'm interested in. It's pretty affordable, it's pretty easy to use, it's like not harmful for the hair and then they do also sell the conditioners that you use that color deposits more color into your hair every single time you wash your hair. So yeah. Well, my goal is to kind of get a purpley pink uh, ombre because obviously my roots are still dark and I'm hoping that like all of this blonde right here will turn like a purpley pink. So I did get two of the sets. I got the vibrant pink set and then I got the vibrant purple set which comes with each comes with a deep treatment which you can do once a week to kind of like do the all over color which is that's what we're going to do today. And then that same kit also comes with a daily conditioner in the same color and this you use in between the deep treatments. Uh, after you wash your hair, you do the conditioner and let it sit for three to five minutes and that just adds color to your hair or replenishes it. And then it also came with two travel size conditioners as well so that you can continue doing that if you travel or something like that. Together, I think both kits were I think 90 or $99. So a little bit pricey if you buy two of them at once, but you can always just buy like the conditioners or you can just buy these. But I just wanna get both sets so that I could just show you guys and do a proper video. So let's just get right into this. My hair is completely clean. I just washed it and then uh, let it air dry. This is what it looks like. Ha! Oh, super bright. It smells like tea tree and peppermint. That's just like what my nose picked up. So pleasant smell. I'm not gonna really have any rhyme or reason to how I'm applying this. I should probably get like a little bowl actually. <laughs> Will be a little bit janky right now and I'm gonna use <laughs> this is for cleaning out your ears but I don't really do that anymore I'm gonna use this to mix my color don't judge me don't judge me I'm gonna just scoop out I think some pink and then put it in here because I do want to have a mixture and I don't know how to do that without contaminating that entire uh, dish oh my I don't know, you know, we're just gonna do whatever, whatever comes, whatever, uh, we're just gonna do whatever. But I have some dye in my hair right now and I'm just gonna go ahead and streak that through because this is, uh, yeah, 
I've already stated I'm not a professional. So I'm gonna mix in just a little spoonful of purple. I want it more pink than I do purple. Ooh, that's a strong smell. It legit smells like tea tree and peppermint. Ooh, that's kind of looking like brown poop. What did I do? Okay, now it's looking better. <laughs> that scared me at first. No, I need more pink in here. More pink. Yes. Ooh, this is like a really, this is an interesting color we're getting here. So this is the color I've come up with. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a just light, light magenta color. What I'm hoping is that I can intermittently use whatever color conditioner, like purple or pink, to make it either more purple or more pink, depending on how I'm feeling. So we will see. I'm gonna do that though. Ow! Ow! Dang it! These bitches are slippery. <laughs> See, I don't really, I don't know how people use brushes by themselves. I feel like I'm gonna make more of a mess trying to use the brush. I'm not gonna use the brush right now. I'm just gonna use my hands. Oh, this is interesting. I feel like this stuff actually is applying better than the Colorista stuff. Oh, my tone! Oh, my tone! This is really bright. <laughs> Hmm, I'm really hoping this turns out okay, guys. <laughs> I might have to mix actually a little bit more, just in case. Cause last time people accused me of not using it enough in my hair and it not being like soaked up enough or something. I don't know, I applied it to every strand, guys. Like I brushed it through my fingers and I really worked it in last time. So I don't know. It's kind of fun being my own like color mix master. <laughs> Mix Master, Mix Master Kelly, mix it up in my earwax removal basket. I promise it was clean. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, oh, shit. All right, so this is like saturated, 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 and coated. I'm gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes and I'm gonna rinse it out with just water, don't worry, which I did last time. I did not use shampoo last time and we will see what color <laughs> we've created. I did want to mention that I used half of the pink. So keep that in mind when you are purchasing this stuff. If you have super long hair, I think expect to probably use the whole thing if you're like me and your hair is kind of porous and it like sucks in everything, or if you have a lot of hair. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I didn't use, the purple was like really pigmented, so I didn't use as much purple, but the pink I used a lot of and that was my base color. Also, if you have white counters, be careful. Cause now I have pink unicorn counters. Oh my God, guys, I totally got sucked into watching a YouTube video of like two skating people, like siblings, fleeing each other in the air. I don't know, but I am totally like way past the five, 10 minute marks. So it has been like 30 minutes, but you know what? I usually leave hair dye on longer than I'm supposed to anyways. That colorista I actually left on for like 10, 15 minutes longer than I was supposed to and it still didn't even take. So <sighs> hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm gonna rinse this out real quick and we'll see what we're left with. So that took a long time to rinse out. Um, I think it's just because I had so much product in my hair and I don't even think I got it all out. This is what the hair looks like in the bathroom light. You can still kind of see some of my blonde showing through. When I watched a video on Overtone's website, it was the same thing with the blonde girl. She had like bright blonde hair and even then like her natural hair kind of showed through. I really like the color though, so let's go in the sunlight. Like I said, the camera in different lighting is going to make it look different. But this is what it looks like in the front room in front of the window. I kind of like it. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it's gonna, colored hair, the only thing that worries me about like fun colors is that it like kind of limits, I feel like how you do your makeup or how you can do your makeup and what kind of lip colors you can use and all of that. That's, so that's one of the only reasons why it's kind of, I've kind of held back from doing like fun colors like this. But I think it, I mean, I think it worked really well. What do you guys think? I think that it definitely like, did what it promised to do considering I just left it in my hair for 30 minutes. It was very easy. Like, I think it, I think it did a really good job. Definitely better than the colorista, though there are still some areas that didn't pick up the color as well. But again, you know, 
my hair is not like bright blonde or bleached. When I wash my hair next, I think I'll use a little bit more pink next time. I'll use the pink uh, conditioner instead of the purple just to see what it looks like. Um, you can follow my daily vlogs if you want to see kind of like the color transformation. Or you can follow me on any of my social media sites. I have Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll post pictures kind of of what I've been doing with my hair and kind of how it's been, how it develops. But I... I really, I actually really like it. I'm actually, yeah, I'm excited. What excites me about this is just that it's like very low maintenance in regards to like, I'm not spending 300 and something dollars at the salon to get it done. Granted, I did spend about 280, uh, three, four months ago to get the, my, you know, my blonde balayage put back in. So that's kind of how I got this ombre. So the base cost me money, but with colored hair like this, you have to go back so often to get it touched up. So I'm really looking forward to just being able to use Overtones Daily Conditioner and wash and all of that. I do have this fear that this purple and pink is not going to come out by itself naturally. I think that it's going to stick to parts of my hair. So if I ever do want to go back or when I do, I shouldn't say if because I know I'm going to. But when I do want to go back to like a blonde, I think I definitely am going to have to go professionally get it taken out. And I don't know what kind of battle that's going to be. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, this is a lot of fun and I'm really excited to just play with my hair some more during the summer. I love that it didn't cause my hair any damage whatsoever. My hair is pretty healthy considering I have like, you know, colored slash bleached hair. It's actually really healthy. Like if you ask anybody, my hair is actually quite soft. Um, I don't feel like it looks damaged or I don't think it's ever really looked damaged. Um, I've been very cautious when it comes to my hair in regards to what I do with it. But yeah, I really like that I was able to achieve this color without damaging my hair and it's still healthy. In regards to like if I felt like it conditioned it more because that's part of the overtone thing is it's supposed to be like good for your hair and conditioning. I don't really feel like it made my hair any softer. I actually kind of feel like it dried it out just a little bit on the ends. So I don't know about that whole thing, but it definitely didn't like super damage it. You know what I mean? Like it's not like some like it's not damaged at all and it feels still good. Yeah, let me know what you guys think below. I'm really excited to see what it washes out to. Like I said, I really enjoyed that like slight subtle pinkish strawberry blondish hue that the Colorista purple left. So I'm excited to see what this does. Obviously though, if I keep doing the daily conditioner, it's not gonna fade, it's gonna keep staying this vibrant. So yeah, I guess just follow me on my social media sites if you wanna see like up to date updates of what my hair is doing because I don't think I'll keep doing like videos unless I drastically change. If you wanna try the overtone stuff, I'll leave the link below. Um, I think they have referral links and if they do, I'll probably put that down. So just know that if you click it, you'll be helping me out, you know, and every single time you click any of my affiliate links, you know, it just helps me kind of be able to make more videos for you guys and afford to buy more products to try out. So I did purchase these myself though. And yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks for the suggestion guys, for all of you guys who were like, try overtone, try overtone because I really like it and it's fun. John said he liked it too. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you all later. Bye. Oh, and real quick, here's what it looks like under different lighting too. We have a few different types of lighting in our house. And then here's what it looks like in another lighting. This is like other natural daylight. It's just so weird how it looks so different in all different types of lighting. Just a little bit more of an accurate depiction of uh, what the hair looks like and my skin tones. But I just wanted to show you guys it in a less like weird lighting kind of thing. So there you go.